You go out every day, you went to the store, you went to the gas station, you know, and then you got clothes that you wear for a special occasion. Those clothes that you wear for a special occasion, you don't want them clothes every day. It says, for you are the holy people to the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So now, he's talking to the Israelites here. He told these Israelites, y'all are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's a great question. That was going to be my next point. He said, what's an Israelite? He said, the brother asked, what is an Israelite? Well, do you know who the Israelites are today? What if I told you that the Israelites are God's special people, they're above all people, and your people are Israelites? How would that, how would that make you feel? I mean, you know, really, I don't know what to feel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, like, what, what, I really, what I really believe in, let's say like this, right? is being honest. Yeah, tell me what you believe in, that's cool. Right. Believe in God, right? I read the Bible, right? You know, but the man that speaks the word is for you, right? I don't know they for real, right? How do you know they for real? Right, but isn't the Bible written by man as well, right? Right. So, how is it going to be That's a great question. Give me uh, 2 Peter 1 and 21, and Titus, could you give me 1 John 4 and 11? Did you ask two questions. Uh, your first question was, the man who's speaking the words of God, how do you know that he's for real? It's a great question. The Bible lets you know the answer to this question. Because right? so, you really shouldn't just believe anything that I say. Or that he say, or that he say, or that his brother say, or what anybody says. I don't care if they're a pastor, a deacon. I don't care if it's the Pope. You should not just listen to anything that a person says. But then you said, well, what about those men who wrote the Bible, right? Second Peter 1. And uh, uh, look at Second Peter chapter one verse twenty one. For the prophecy came not. Start at twenty. I'm sorry. Knowing this, first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So now that's in, that's important. It said none of these scriptures is of any private interpretation. Meaning what? If we all read the one one verse, the same verse, we should not all come to five different understandings. Right. That means one of two things. That mean all five of us is wrong, or that mean four of us is wrong, but one of us is right. Either way it goes, there's only one right answer, right? So when you're reading this Bible, if we got two people and they're reading the same verse and they come to different understandings, one of them is wrong or both of them is wrong because neither one of them have the same understanding, right? right? What is it? Well, so the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the Lord speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So it said the prophecy didn't come by the will of man, meaning men didn't just come down and say, you know what, let me make a Bible so that I can get people to follow me. They didn't just pull this out of their, you know, pilots. It says holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit of God. How do we know that to be true? Because the same things that you read about when Moses wrote his books, when Jeremiah wrote his books, when Isaiah wrote his books, when uh, Ezekiel wrote his books, that's the same message. Christ taught, taught his teachings in the Gospels the same message. That one message is very clear. Repent for your sins and keep God's commandments. And believe on his promises. That's how you know that. But you also ask, how do you know that if a person, like a random person like ourselves, how do you know if they speak in the right things to you? First John. First John. Uh, that's in the back. Right, this that book that Bible is a little bit harder to uh, get to. Yeah. Here you go, First John four and eleven. This Bible is something. Yeah. First John eleven. I'm already in. Eleven. Chapter four, verse eleven. Four. Eleven. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Four and one. Four and one. Yeah. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Read that again. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out unto the world. Stop. So now, give me First Peter four and eleven. Also, this oh. the, the scripture just said to believe not every spirit. The Bible is telling you not to believe every doctrine, because there are many false prophets that are gone out into the world. Notice how everything that I'm saying is coming from the Bible. Right. 
everything that we said really you really don't even need me to, to say anything those verses are clear cut and right, right. I'm just paraphrasing to you in more language right 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 maybe more more like more understanding you yeah. know more break it down yeah. you know what I mean feel it you know? right that's how but that's how the, that's how anybody who's giving you the word that's how right. so that you can understand it. but like if I'm giving you a word and you're not really understanding you're not really comprehending are you really learning anything? Right, right. And then there's and the situation. And that's why I mean, that's why I came back to say, like, you know, when someone is trying to really tell you the word, it's trying to make you feel good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's trying to make you feel good, but I understand, like, just bring it down and tell me exactly what it means. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're telling me something, but I'm listening, but I don't understand. But, you know, you know you're seeing me, you know, you're seeing my face expression. You're not, you know, like, hey, young man, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Like, you understand, you fully understand what I'm saying. Who's gonna give a chance and opportunity, you know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, that you express yourself that much. They don't want to. Yeah, or just, you know, now nah, I ain't saying this out. It's like, y'all, so y'all breaking it down. Just people in jail, they just want to preach you just the word. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you can't really understand it. You know what I mean? Like, you're not gonna feel it. You're not gonna understand. And, you, you know, you're not gonna take, you know, all your beliefs are gonna, gonna kind of be all over the place because you know what did you believe in it? because he telling you this he telling you this he trying to make you understand but you're not understanding so you know you think he lying about the whole thing so you know what is there else to believe from a man that's speaking the word to you yeah, you know why that's not hey. and that's not good too because whenever somebody telling you let's just say that Let's give you from on both ends. If they're telling you something right that you don't understand, you're not gonna retain that information. So then all that work that that brother put in is really for in vain. Right. And then, but if he was telling it to you falsely, like if there was wrong information, what if you held true to it? What if you retain that information? I mean, that happens. Yeah, it does, on both ends. Right. Well, people are speaking truth, but they're not walking with the person. Right. So then the person is not getting it. So not all your works is in vain. Even though it was a good work, it's for nothing. Right. But then you got other people who teach them falsely, and people are holding fast to them. So now they walking with false information. Right. And then they really believe in that false information. And then when they believe in it for too long, it's hard to pull them out of that false information. Right. And give them the right. So that's why, you know, do you, do you think that we, that you understand everything that yeah, we say? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm bring, yeah, I'm bringing it down. Like, I'm understanding what y'all saying. You know what I'm saying, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all breaking it down to make me understand. You know what I'm saying as well. You know what I mean? Because you know, you know a little more than me. You know what I mean? With the Bible. You know what I mean? Hold on, son. You know a little more than me with the Bible, right? I don't know that much with the Bible, right? Only there's certain pieces of me. So what I how I'm trying to feel about it all, you know, get an understanding about it. Stopping me as I go, you know. As well as I finish, let me talk. As I finish, then you break it down to me where I can understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I have got from somebody, somebody else. You know that's kind of out the picture because it didn't make sense. And what you saying is making sense. A lot of times. y'all a question. Y'all believe in God? Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, I allow. Uh, you know, them people. Like, you know, I ain't gonna say them people, but. This one right here. Give them, give them, give them. I don't, don't want to disrespect nobody, but. Yeah, it's no disrespect you know I mean? at all. Right, you know, but. I only know it's one God, you know what I mean? Exodus right. 3 and uh, 15. It's one God. Right. Now, you said Allah, right? Right. Allah is talking about the nation of Israel. Right. Allah is just Arabic for God. Okay. okay. That just means God. Okay. Now, God is a title. It's right. not really a. Uh, it's not really a name. You okay. see what I'm saying? Because in the, in the Bible, a man could be a God. Mm -hmm. The word God just means a power or a judge. Right. But when you talk about what God do we believe in, we believe in this God right here. Exodus 3 and 15. Exodus 3 and 15. And God said, moreover, moreover, unto Moses, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, 
and this is my memorial unto all generations. So he said he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. and that's his name forever, to all generations. Right. We're in a generation. So that's his name. That's the God we serve. You ever heard of Abraham? Yeah. Father of faith, right? Right. Abraham believed in God and counted to him for righteousness. That's Genesis 15 and 6. Mm -hmm. So because Abraham had faith and he believed in God, the Most High made a covenant and a promise with him. He said, I'm going to give your seed this holy land. Right? You're that seed. Because that seed who he was talking about, he was talking about Israel. We all that seed. Who is we all? All, 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 all children of God. And who are the children of God? Well, you mean? Not quite. Give me uh, Romans Why not? Okay. Romans, I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. Give me Exodus 4. You're in Exodus 3, right? You're in yeah. Exodus 4 and 22. I was waiting on y'all twice. I was came by here smoking cigarettes. Oh, you, yeah. was trying, you was trying to hear us twice? Yeah, but y'all ain't, ain't, ain't making moves, so I ain't. You <laughs> said you ain't making moves. Hey, when I came back, I was like, hey, y'all smoking that brother over there? Yeah, he did. He was like, oh, nah. Yeah, because the crazy was the hole in there. It was the hole in the cage and the hole Right, that's I see you right there. You know what I mean? But some like this is a uh this is a difficult thing to do. You say it like that. Because yeah, everybody yeah. not trying to hear the words of God. Right. We'll be calling out the people and they'll be like, they'll completely ignore me. Like you see me talking to you. Right. And they'll be like, oh they'll just like no, I don't got time for that. Well, you know, I mean, just just believe in in God period, I believe everybody was every time. No matter what you got going on, no matter what you was talking about, no matter what you had going on, like, I believe everybody deserves a chance. A chance to what? A chance just to, to hear somebody out, you know, just a chance to help somebody. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's anything, you know, like, not to brush somebody off. You never know what you made a have for me. You never know what God put on your heart or your heart right. have for me. I would pass it up. Everybody right. come over here and just say, hey, you know, I was inside all messed up, you know what I mean? Where other black people can't sit around and talk to people. I'll be 32 tomorrow. I've been through a lot of stuff in life. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff. This three year old and a 10 year old changed my life. And my, my wife and my high school school. But I don't, and the man said, I don't think I'll be here to be with y'all black men talking today. So just to give everybody a fair chance, I'm always willing to do that. So, you know what okay. I mean? It doesn't matter what it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, nobody can't hurt me, nobody can't harm me no more, nobody can't do nothing to end up my spirit, nothing, like nothing. Nobody can't do nothing to harm me, period, ever again. So what you're basically saying is God is only love and everybody deserves feel his love. Right. Right. No, no matter what. Gotcha. So now that's why we're addressing the, the children part. Where you said everybody can be a child of God. You got that in Exodus 4 and 22? Yep. Exodus 4 and 22. Thou shalt thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus said unto the Lord Israel is my son even my firstborn. So now he said Israel is my son. Israel is talking about Israelites, mm -hmm. God's chosen people. He said, those are my sons, right? The New Romans 9 and uh, 20. Mm -hmm. I said, these are not the children of God. I think it's in verse 7. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yeah. The book of Romans chapter 9, verse 7. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in Isaac so you see, because so now Abraham, his name means father of many nations, right? Mm -hmm. He had many children. Many nations come out of Abraham. The verse in the Bible just said that just because you're a seed of Abraham doesn't mean you're all children of God. I'm showing you right here. Keep going. Okay. Verse eight. That is, they which are the children of the flesh. The children of the flesh. These are not the children of the Lord. These are what? These are not the children of the Lord. So you got people on this earth who are not the children of God. Right. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. The children of the promise are counted for the seed. He just said, in Isaac shall the seed be called. That's why God, remember we just read in Exodus 3 and 15, he says, I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Right. So now the people that come from Israel 
are God's people. They are his children. Right? God does not deal with all the people of the earth like they're his children. Prime example, give me Amos 3 and 1. That's when we get to a lot. I'm going to tell you one more. Because uh -huh. I'm not going to be, you know, not, I'm going to be sad yeah. to them. You know, because I did bring them to have a good time. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So, For sure. No, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know. You know, I mean, I, 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 I rather, I rather stay here. You know, and talk to y'all, help. You know, get people here. You know what I mean? You know, to talk to people. Cause I'm a people person. You know what I mean? Okay. But you know what I'm saying? I want to be fair to gotcha. the people. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. We appreciate you stopping by. I got, one more, I got one more verse for you, and I got you. I'm most excited. Amos is an old old team. Three and uh, three and uh. One. So Amos chapter three, verse one. Now this goes back to the question we're talking about everybody being God's children. Okay. We're showing you that that may be something that you talk in Christianity, but that's not according to the Bible, right? As we've shown in Exodus four, Romans nine, and now we have Amos three, right? That's what he said. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. So now He wants you to hear this word, right? Make sure you understand this. We'll say against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Now, God just said, you're the only people that I've known. All the people that are you talking to the Israelites. Right. So he said, therefore, I'm going to punish you for all your iniquities. Now, just as a quick analogy, just so that you can better understand this. If your son get older and he with some other boys and they get in some trouble, are you going to punish all those boys or are you just going to punish your son? Uh, if, if I if I can't if if I could I would rather I would rather sit all the young men down and explain to them what what happened what they did wrong what could have happened and what not to be in those situations if it ever occur again exactly you know in a mean? perfect world right but is everybody gonna let you rebuke their children uh no they no they not so, but but I'm gonna try to touch as much as I could exactly. But we know that everybody not raising their children the same way you raise the Right, yeah. So they probably, that's that's what happens when you don't have a real culture. Black people don't have a real culture. Right, we don't. So the things that you teach your son may not be the things that the man down the street is teaching his son. Right. That's why we won't, whatever it is that you teach your son, you're going to make sure he knows. Right, right. As opposed to some other children who he may be with. Like, I don't know what they, their fathers and their mothers are teaching them at home. Right. I don't make sure you know this. Right. Nah, nah, I have I have a current situation like that. Where, well, my sister's son, you know, has a different problem. Real, you know, and you know some of the kids rub off on him. You know what I mean? Yeah. But instead of grabbing the kids that are rubbing off on him, I grab the main target. Grab the main target and try to mentor him. You know what I mean? Because they all follow him. So I'm gonna take that main target and I'm gonna, and I'm and I'm gonna groom him to to be the perfect young man. Or not, I try to be the perfect young man. Well. He could groom and influence the other the ones that he that he's doing the bad to, the and, and he'll lead he'll lead those. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they, and in every group and every every bad every bad bunch of albums they have one leader. You grab the leader and you got the bunch. We didn't we didn't we didn't experience that with some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You grab the leader, you got the bunch. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But man, I thank y'all. By having this conversation with me, Definitely. you know what I'm saying. Y'all keep, y'all keep doing this good work. You know, y'all putting in. You know what I mean. Keep doing this positive energy. You know what I mean. You know. And y'all just stay safe out here, man. Definitely, man. You know what I mean. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like I say, man.